Hey, listen, Cruz is not a canine from anybody that's been asking. I, he does not go to work with me. Uh, he's our family dog. So he's not a trained canine officer. But, you know, some of the still, uh, the same training techniques still apply and go on in his life. Got happy. Training is work to him and he loves it. It's a game. He, he, he enjoys the work, he enjoys his training, he enjoys everything. Now, something about training a Doberman it's different than training a lot of dogs. <laughs> different than training a lot of dogs is a Doberman needs a strong pack leader. They need somebody who's strong. They need somebody who's firm that he accepts as alpha. Because you don't want him thinking he's alpha in the pack. Now, I know that the liberal thing to think right now in the, in the, the way of thinking is kinder and gentler and, and all that. And it's good, you want to be kind, you want to love them, you want to treat them good. But, a lot of that doesn't apply when you're training a dog. They need to know who's in charge. They want somebody to be in charge because they have a pack instinct. He has a pack instinct that if you're not in charge, then he's going to be in charge. He's going to try to dominate you if you don't dominate him. So you have to let him know uh, all the time who's boss. And tricks are a great way to do that. Tricks are a fantastic way to let him know that you are in charge, that you're the one giving the commands, and that you're the one doing the, uh, the leading role in this pack, and it can't be him. Now, if you see your dog wanting to hump other people, kids, it's his dominant behavior. He wants to dominate that person. He wants to be in your pack. He wants to be the one who's in the dominant position. And you don't want him to be dominant over any people at all. So you need to put a stop to that really, really fast. Look how beautiful this guy is. Look at him. Ain't you pretty? Ain't you pretty? He's pretty. So, I know you're gonna, some people are gonna disagree with me and I'm probably gonna get a ton of negative comments about saying you need to be stern and strong with your dog. But it's just the truth. It's just the truth. He comes from a wolf. He comes from a pack of wolves. And that's just how it is.